What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. Uh, I was just kind of thinking about tool bags, and um, I kind of have these two good tool bags here, and I did a video on this Hercules one. I did a tool bag tour. Um, my camera was turned the wrong way so I'm sorry about that if you go watch it but I think it was still a pretty good tool bag tour I was happy with it and um, things have changed in here since then but it's most of the same stuff definitely some different stuff though um, and I was just you know you can see in that video how much I love this tool bag I talked about how much I love it and I, I just I really do uh, love this thing so much and the reason is just the design. Now, it's not the only tool bag of its kind, but I'm an open top tool bag type of guy for my everyday stuff. And this one has all these pockets lining the inside, but it's still got room, you know, like, you know, if you're, if you're a guy like me, it's okay to just have some stuff stuffed down in here I just it's good to be able to throw stuff in there you know a little box of wood that you cut a little bit set jumper small tools like a stubby or a lighter you know it's just it's handy and the one gripe I love Vito like, I think they make great bags. But the one gripe I have with them is they don't give you a lot of open space. And that is just not... Like, they make open-top tool bags, like, like sort of like this, but they're just packed full of pockets on the inside where you've just got to have tools, tools, tools standing up all the time. And nowhere to have like a, you know, if you wanted to set some stuff down in here. And the other thing is, it doesn't have pockets that are like this. They're always stacked, you know, they're always stacked in front of each other. So it's hard to put little stuff in pockets, you know. Like this pocket is just for all kinds of little stuff like bits and picks and little pry bars. And uh, these little guys... Actually, I figured out what they are. I use these for picking stuff up, cleaning stuff out with this pick thing. Uh, this is for like a hookah, for like the ch the piece of charcoal or whatever. Um, I don't know where I got this. I found it somewhere, but I found it useful. It's good for cleaning out like small things with small holes. <laughs> I don't know. I've, this little pick thing is, is coming handy for me. But anyways, I'm, I don't want to get too off subject, but that's what stuff like this has. And this pocket is good for it because it kind of just, it's loose. You can kind of see stuff in here. But in a tool bag like the Vito style, those kind of pockets are harder. They give you these little bit pockets. Now, I don't like them. I just don't. They're they're too far down in there to put bits in them. Like I don't. It, you'd have to be digging down in here. Like I keep this extension in this, and that's about as you know. It's big enough or it's, it's okay. But like I guess I could keep these. But then these like this long stuff. It just sticks up, and then it's in the way of what's behind it. So this is my pocket for little bits and picks and stuff in this one. And I gotta just like dig down in here to even see what's in here. Like I got my little quarter inch 5 16 wrenches and uh, nut driver bits. And it's just like, it's too cramped. Whereas, and it's too far, it's too close to the edge and I can't, unzip this anymore so it's like just I, I don't know I need to come up with a system maybe like some pipe like some PVC 
to stuff in here to hold each group of little things, something like that maybe. Um, but that's the gripe I have about these tool bags. Now, I'm gonna do a tour of this and a review of this bag because I do like it. I have been using it, but uh, I wanna put it through an HVAC season, you know, through a summertime of use before I give my opinion on it. Cause I just got it a few months ago and air conditioner season is just starting. So we're just ramping up and I'm gonna put this through its paces before I give a review. So, but what I was, what I wanted to talk about in this video is kind of why I, uh, I like this tool bag more than this style. Now, this style is good for what I'm using this for because it's kind of a everything zipped up, grab and go in an attic, uh, or grab and go and, you know, replace, <clears throat> replace a coil or a compressor something like that. That's what this guy's for. So in that way, this is good. But for an all around tool bag, Vito does make a very nice kind of open top, but what it, what it has instead of this, this design is it's got tools on one side and then on the other side is a wide open area. And I'm okay with that, I guess, but not really. That And that's a big one. It's the same design, actually, as my Milwaukee, which this Milwaukee is a copy of that Vito, I'm pretty sure, basically, where it's got these tool pockets, and then it's got this wide open side where I keep all my big stuff. And this works for my big stuff. Like this tool bag, I have grown to actually really like for my big tools that I don't need to carry with me all the time. So that's kind of like what Vito has. Vito does have, oh God, I wanna know how much that damn tool bag weighs, it's a lot. Vito does have the I think it's the Tech OTMC, which is this size. But what they have instead of this design is space on either side for tools on the inside. Not a whole lot of big tool pockets on the outside, which I find annoying. I wish they had more on the outside. But it's got an open slot in the middle and they give you this deep plastic container. And I'm not, I'm just not down with that. I don't think that's gonna work for me, so I have not got it. What I'm hoping someday Vito comes out with is something similar to this, where look, just look how many tools I can fit on the inside and the outside while still having a center area to put stuff. Like I could put a drill in here if I wanted. I've got extra battery for the drill, stuff floats around in a tool bag. It's, this is a, this is an imperfect world. <laughs> you know, you need uh, a, a, an open space for stuff, you know? And uh, like, where am I gonna put my tub drain wrench? I can't put this in a pocket, you know? Like, I can't put my bit set in a pocket and I don't wanna put it in a deep container. I just wanna sometimes see it floating down in there and grab it. You know, that's just, that's just how I roll. And I think a lot of other people in the real world operate the same way. So that's why I love this one. I can see everything the way I've got it laid out. I can see everything inside and, uh, and everything outside, you know? Like these pockets are laid out. I mean, these are good pockets. The Vito doesn't have pockets like this on the outside and they also the pockets are a lot more car like compartmentalized in a Vito bag. Like they want you to put one tool in one pocket, one tool in the other pocket. They don't want you to, it doesn't seem like you can really stuff stuff into a pocket. Like these, you know, I got combos. Like I got my wrench and my channel locks. I got 
big channel locks, you know. I got Phillips and flat. I got my electrical combo here. Like I can just grab this, grab all three, and be good to go. Needle nose, linesmen's, cutters, they live together and they slide in and out great. The Vitos have rigid pockets where you want to compartmentalize everything and have everything looking good in there, but then you go in there and it's like trying to get it out is like, damn, you know? There's my wire strippers. Here's my needle nose and duck bills. Back in easy, back in real easy. I need to cut a screw. There's my bolt cutters. I need a screwdriver that's got multiple bits. It's like, you know, you see it, you grab it, you put it back, no big deal. I need my hammer, boom. What is the solution here, guys? I don't know. I th I'm kind of just rambling in this video, to be honest. I want Vito to make a bag with their quality because, like, I love this pouch. I use this, and it's great. They're, it's just heavy duty, good stuff. I don't really like this type of thing they do where they have these velcro little pouches that actually has little bit holders in there it's lame but make something Vito that's got the quality you know the quality handles the quality material the quality pockets I love on this MC bag these just open pockets that you can put little tools in like because these float around and they're annoying to try and get uh, even in a, you know, even in here sometimes. If you had more of these type, like where you can just open top, put little stuff in, where it's always easy to get to, that's cool. And uh, there, you know, no zipper, no Velcro, just, just like this, just, oh, I need my pipe cutters, here they are. You know, in my little test tree, there it is. Need my flashlight, there it is, you know. It's like, make it easy. This is heavy duty stuff. Um, I usually keep a drill and stuff back here. But make something of this quality that is more of a style like this just with better quality than this is. Because this is probably made in China and it's not, you know, nearly as nice material as Vito bags are. But it's laid out better, it's a better design anyway for what I do. And I think a lot of people who have like an all around tool bag that do a lot of different stuff probably feel the same way, although maybe they don't. I just think that if Vito made a tool bag like this that had good pockets on the outside where you can really load up the outside so you can see everything and have it in like kind of compartments. And then on the inside, you can have pockets too just against the wall and then have an open inside like this does. But have all your great quality, have all your great handle and tape clip and and all that fun stuff. Have some extra bells and whistles. There's little zipper pockets and stuff that make the, you know, and D-rings everywhere. Everything that's cool about Vito's, have all that. But have this design, this basic design, where it's like pockets around here, pockets against the wall in here, but a nice open area still where things can float around and you can kind of customize for what you do. Um, you know, like, A hose clamp can save your ass. And I can see it down in there. Sometimes you just need it. Um, so anyway, that's just what I was thinking about today. Somebody commented on my tool bag tour video of this bag a long time ago and was like, just buy a Vito. And I responded to him like, well, uh, I really like Vito bags. I have a couple and I like them. 
but for my everyday bag, they don't really offer a design that will work for me, I don't think. And uh, he was like, well, they make the the open top ones, like, and he listed those ones. And I was, you know, he was just kind of weird about it. And I was like, yeah, they just don't make one exactly the way that I work. And he was like, well, you probably don't even own any anyway. It was like, <laughs> it was weird. But I, uh, I have been thinking about that ever since. And I just, I decided, well, maybe I'll just make a video. Maybe Vita will see it. And maybe they'll see the need that I'm talking about. I think there's a market that they're missing. And that is like the all around tools type of person like me, who, you know, like they make, like those bags that they make are real good for plumbers with the open side. And they're like, they're geared towards tradespeople. And that is like guys who are in specific trades, like plumbers, electricians, especially HVAC guys. Um, if you do one thing, you can customize those types of bags to do just that one thing. But I think they need to have a design that's more similar to this with their same high quality for people like me who do it all, who need a, a, a wide area to put different styles of tools around the outside, along the inside, with some stuff floating around in the middle. <laughs> uh, that's just what I think they're missing. And um, maybe they'll see this and maybe they'll take it to heart. Who knows, who knows? But uh, anyway, if you guys have a tool bag that you think is great, that has this a, a design that you think might work for what I'm talking about, please leave it in the comments and um, consider, you know, giving me your thoughts about it because I'm a big tool bag nerd. I love talking about tool bags and watching tool bag tour videos. And I think that uh, they can be approved, improved upon. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, as always, if you like videos like this, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate everybody who participates. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in.